let's take a look at using the HackRF's app, the HackRF One with PortaPak's app TPMSRX. So tire pressure monitoring system and we're receiving signals. Now, I at first was having a little trouble with this app. I couldn't get any signals and uh, it, was, it was very frustrating. So I tried a number of the frequencies. So there are three frequencies we can try. We can see here, we've got 315, 314.9, and 433. The one I've had the most luck on is 315. So let's go out of the app and then we'll come back into it and just take a look and see if I grab anything here. So I'm on 315. I've had to adjust some of my settings. You can see here 4040 instead of the normal. I think it's set on 3232. You can see I've set this to Fahrenheit. You can go over and adjust um, these settings here. I have it on PSI and Fahrenheit or Celsius. We can turn the amplifier on and then we can adjust our settings over here as well. Now, like I said, I've had the most luck with 315. And another thing to note is the vehicle has to be going at a certain speed. So I believe it's something over 20 miles per hour. And then it will start uh, transmitting its data. So we can see right now, since I've kind of refreshed the screen, I don't have anything yet. We have a number of cars coming by now. I guess maybe a, a light turned green. Oh, and there we go. Now we're starting to get some stuff. So we can see the pressure, 35, temperature 71. I can only guess CNT. I've tried to look to see what these settings mean. I personally haven't had any luck in finding what they mean. And I hate to say that, but I haven't yet. And yeah. So we're starting to get some data in now, which is great. And this lets, lets us know that the car system, the tire pressure monitoring system is working. Now, there are a couple other things that you can do that once you know this information here, you can kind of hack the tire pressure monitoring system, which I might go over in another video but essentially you can tell the monitoring system that it's too low and alert the car. So now we're on 315. What happens if I come out, go back in and use a different signal? So now 314.9 and you know, I haven't moved my area uh, I'm, I'm still in the same country. I'm still in the same region. And let's see now if I can pull data from 314.9. I've actually been able to pull data from all three of the frequencies with not really much of a problem at all, except you just have to wait a little bit. So I can see now that on the side of the road that I am parked on, there are not a lot of cars coming, so we'll wait for our next little batch of cars here. Here they come now. And we'll see if we can pick anything up. I've also found you have to be pretty close to the car in order to do this. I don't have my antenna extended all the way. It's probably a quarter of the way up. I do have cars passing by now, and let's see if we grab anything from here on the 314.9. So we were on 315 before and we were grabbing data. And now we're on 314.9 and it doesn't seem that I'm grabbing too much at all here. So maybe we'll switch to the, the other frequency, which is 433. Have a bunch of cars passing by. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, nothing else. I'm gonna let this 
next batch of cars go by and see if we pick anything up on 314.9. If we don't, I will switch to 315. I've got a number of different types of cars passing me, as you can imagine, not just one different type. I can see a, a oh, there we go. So, so far we've gotten data on 314.9, 3.15, and now I'll come back out and go back in, and we'll go on 433.9, and let's check that out. So, I've got a couple cars about to come past me here, but I usually get more luck when it's just a huge amount of cars. So let's see what happens here. So the other two out of the three, two have hit so far. And now I'm just going to see if this 433.9 will give me some data. Again, have it with my region, right? I'm in the same country. Uh, I'm in the same place. So let's see. Got a number of cars also passing on the other side of the road, but... I, I really find that, that I get the best luck when the cars are passing me on the side of the road that I am parked on. Okay, here comes a number of cars now, a few cars anyway. And let's see if I get anything on 433.9. Now, before when I was doing this, just testing it, there we go. Yeah. So I've gotten it on all three frequencies now. 433.9, 315.9, and 314, I believe, was the other one, right? So I've gotten it on all three. Let's just see if I grab a couple more. I've got a number of cars coming by now. Looks like it's getting, yep, there we go, another one. It's getting kind of busy. So, yeah. That's how you use this app. Um, this app on the HackRF is probably one of the ones that I've been uh, a little more frustrated with. It doesn't work um, all the time. And plus, you have to be in a place where there is traffic going by at a significant speed. So this is the Porta Pack H4M. using the tire pressure monitoring system and receiving all of that data.